We reached the silo's floor, but the signal came from lower still. Below coalescence. Okay. Well, here come zombies. I love how they're just appearing. They're not like crawling through the floor or anything. They just appear. Alright. Hello. I'm guessing they haven't properly designed the zombies to get around this map. Just, come on. Do I really think they've actually put enough time and effort into making this? Probably no. Yeah, the fact that zombies are not even attacking me, I'm guessing that... Really? Really? I now have to, I have to deal with those stupid little things from Shadows of Evil? Come on. Come on, designers. What the fuck was that thing? Okay. Right, um... Fuck off. One thing I have noticed that the zombies are even from Shadows of Evil. Really, come on. Why would you have those stupid little bug things? I I don't get it. What are those things coming out of the zombies? What am I meant to even do? Oh, fuck off. I'm guessing I'm meant to do something? Right. Am I meant to do something here? Or what? I'm not too sure. Well, I found a collectible anyway. Uh... Yeah, all this time... Yeah, that's the Shadows of Evil zombie. Huh. They couldn't even be asked to actually make custom zombies. Well, that being said, there are some custom zombies, because there was the one wearing the brown... Uh... Oh... Yeah, that's the Shadows of Evil. Yeah, like this guy. This guy is... new. You can tell, because he's got uh, an exoskeleton on. So he's the most unique. Right, come on, what are we meant to be doing here, by the way? We're we just killing zombies. I don't know, because I've not been told what I'm meant to be doing yet. Oh, hello. I'm not even paying attention anymore to zombies. I just want to see what's going to happen. I'm pretty sure this door here opens, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure, and then we start dropping down. If I remember right. Okay, fuck off. Okay. This is kind of dull, because the zombies are coming in way too slow. Even for this to be a problem. Not even a challenge, or anything. It's probably going to get a bit harder later on, right? Surely. Because it can't stay like this. This is too easy. I kind of want to get this. Oh, can I not get in there? No, okay. Alright, fuck you, zombie. Oop. Enjoy that. Enjoy it, motherfucker. Okay.
Okay. Hendrix, what are we meant to be even be doing? I can't even remember anymore. Because this just seems really slow and boring. Are we also going to be fighting Thingy again? The one that's hooked up to the machine down here. Whenever the game can be really be fucked to actually move on. Or am I meant to do something? I'm guessing I'm meant to do something since... It doesn't seem like the zombies are going to ever fucking end. So am I meant to do something down here? Throw a grenade. Anything? No. What the fuck? I literally just run through that. Oh, there we go. Did you have any inkling of what waited for you? No. In hindsight, we should have put it together. But the fact of the matter, that day was supposed to be like any other. Okay. Uh, I don't see any zombies, at least. There's bound to be a few down here, right? Oh, magic box. See what else we can get. Uh, isn't that that really? Yeah. I don't want it. It's a free run burst. I want something a bit more kick what behind did it. You find below coalescence. A CIA black project, Project Corvus. Unknown to the world, and unknown to most people in the know. As off the record as it got. A redacted footnote in Langley's history book. Part of me wishes we just turn back. Why? It, well, it would have been easier for me, for Hendrix, for the world. Is it such a bad thing? To want to be blissfully ignorant in the face of daunting adversity. We didn't have a choice. Those who find fate thrust upon them rarely do. Okay. Oh, this is the upside. If I remember right, this is where we do get, like, Uh oh. I was wondering because music zombie. Uh, zombie music? Zombie music just started playing. Annihilate over. Beauty of Annihilation. Yeah, because this is where the zombies attacked us in the main campaign. Or zombie robots. More precise. Fucking hell. Okay. Doors open at least. Um. Holy sh shit! Holy hell, man! Right, okay. I guess this is kind of what I wanted. A bit more of a faster action. This is actually pretty cool. And I love the fact that there's beautiful annihilation just in the background. That's uh, quite nice. But I'm not too sure about copyright for that. Um, let's just turn that off. Because I'm not too sure if that song is copyrighted. I'm guessing it is. So I'm going to turn that off now before I start getting copyright strikes. Because fuck that. Where the fuck? Ah, here we go. 
Right. Let's open this door up. The human testing lab. What awaited you there? We found the truth, the cause of the disaster. You are certain of this? We didn't have the full picture, not yet. But this was the source. We knew coalescence was where the virus originated, but residue of 6115 in the air left no doubt. This was where it all began. When the disaster happened, hundreds of thousands died instantly. And they were the lucky ones. Because when the rest of Singapore inhaled 6115, they changed from the living into the living dead. These test subjects, they were linked together, connected with a direct neural interface. Their minds hardwired into the central server. Hendrix didn't like what he saw. You knew something was wrong. The same tech in our own heads made us what we were. It was down here in this room. We didn't know what happened, but the data didn't lie. Man did what man always does, playing God and fucking everything up. We, the CIA, man, we created these things. We changed the world. How do you mean, change the world? The Winslow Accord and the Common Defense Pact. We'd been engaged in a Cold War for nearly a decade. 6115 changed that. When the dead walked among us, we set aside our differences. For all of your conflicts, you and your enemy had two things in common. You're both human, and you both want to stay that way. Was this the source of the signal? No, but it looked like Taylor had come through. Our answers were still further down. Okay. Oh, this is... This is spooky. Alright. This is where he gets boosted up there, I remember this bit. Okay. This is also where- this is in the room uh, on the other side of this door is where we fight. I can't remember his name now. But we fight thingy. Ah, we didn't put any voice acting on him. Cause I guess that's hard, isn't it? Dolly. I know it's not, this is a different bit. This is... Oh, it's far down. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to be forced to fight, aren't I? Well, I'm now locked in. Yep, there's all the groans. Alright, Hendrix, do you want to get this fucking door open, please? Because I'm not interested in dying. Well, I guess I'm at Hendrix's will at the moment. Oh. Oh god, what the fuck's going on? Oh no. Well, I'm just gonna peg it because fuck this. There's too many zombies to deal with. Give me the damn thing. Right, come on then, zombies. Aha, that's exactly what I want. Good old shotgun. Right, goodbye, zombie. Hope you have fun there, bud. When you found the server room, did you have any idea what you would uncover? We couldn't have known. What we found was... We found Sebastian Diaz. One of Taylor's. Another dead killer. Our friend. He had... 
He'd linked himself to the CIA server, connected directly with the Winslow Accord systems. He was deactivating defenses for the undead quarantine zones all over the world. The massive walls containing the spread, keeping us from the undead. Deactivating the defenses would let the flesh-eating hordes loose upon the living. It would end humanity. We had to stop him. The only way to stop him now was by destroying the server.